guys and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby Egglock. My name is Beck, and I am super excited to welcome you back to this next episode. So as you can see in the previous episode, we made it to the Ashy Root, Root, whatever you want to be called. What do you want to be called, Root? 113, 113, Root 113 guys. Um, so what we need to do first off, first off the bat, is catch a random encounter because... Because, 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 <laughs> because, no, because, 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 I'm obsessed with hatching eggs, not gonna lie, I'm gonna see if I can catch this guy, I have no idea what it is, it's Dexnav though, so it's great, Dexnaving is one of the most, my most favourite additions to uh, this, oh it's Skarm, okay Skarm, Quick attack's gonna do jack all. Let's try a water pulse. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try water pulse while Scam resets up the rocks. That's cool. Okay, metal claw. <laughs> and we left in the face of metal claw. Uh, I am just gonna legitimately just try and catch it because. Yeah. I don't think I've ever, ever used a Scam in a Let's Play. In fact, I'm not sure I've ever used a scammery at all, even in, like, battling and stuff. Gosh darn it. I mean, we could go for a quick attack. That was a crit, man. Are they all going to be crits? If you get one crit, are they all crits? Oh, no, they're not. Okay. Um, I think, well, I might just try a quick attack then. If you don't want to stay in the Pokeball, I don't think a, crit, I don't think a quick attack is going to do... Yeah, okay. It did even less than I thought it was going to do. Brilliant. <gasps> how much will that do? I'm, I'm actually scared. Please get in the ball. I like how he's like flown up into the sky, but he's actually still there. <laughs> it doesn't... Oh, gosh darn it. Okay, so that was a little scary, but we put the wish back up. We put the wish up. And when he hits us, we can take one more. We can take one more. I know we can. And you're going to get in the ball anyway. Oh no, there always comes a point in the Nuzlocke, right, where I do something that I regret. Please not be now. Please don't be now. Please don't be now. Whoo! It's not now. You know when you're kind of like breezing along in the Nuzlocke and you think, well actually, you know what, we're doing a really good job. And then I, I overestimate something and it, it, it lends into a, be a disaster. Mm. I thought that was, that was going to be the time, but no. A female Skarmory. No. Okay, so that's another egg. When we get to Falaba, we've got three eggs to hatch now, which is cool. Um, I am going to heal up. Um, I am definitely going to heal up. No. Um, Anri. I'm also going to put on a forest uh, a super repel too because we don't need any of the... Uh... So I was just seeing if we, had any, we still don't have any items to give out particularly. Um... I was just going to see if... Because <sighs> I don't want any of the random encounters. Now, outside of this episode, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to um, collect up some ash for some flutes. Um, primarily the yellow flutes, the blue flutes, and the red flute. I don't really care about the black and white flutes because I'm not going to be using them in the Let's Play, but I do want the other three flutes. So <clears throat> I'm hoping that we'll be able to do that at some point. Um, in between episodes because I think they will be useful and I can't see I can't see a problem in using them It's just like buying potions really so just like buying full heals except they don't disappear after you've used them and I love flutes <laughs> I love the flutes they really do. I was so annoyed. Yeah, let's switch. I was so annoyed when they took them out of the game I really really was Because it was just like Why are you taking them out of the game? <laughs> they were so good 
But they didn't, they didn't actually, they didn't take them out of the game. They just stopped them having their, the usefulness. They just became trinkets to collect. And I was like, mate, what are you doing? But then I suppose maybe it was because it might have made it too easy. But I don't think it made it too easy. Because you could use full, you can use full heals to cure like confusion and stuff. So, pff, psh, 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 psh. I don't know what they're talking about. I think they should have just kept the flutes the whole time. I'm, I'm stopping. I'm going to stop talking about flutes now. Do you know what I also really like about the music on this route? Just listen. Oh, this is the. This is not a great bit, but there's flutes in it. It's like pipes. It's cool. It's because they know this is the, the route, for the flutes. Um. Yep. You can hear, it's like, it is sort of like pan pipey music. It's cool. I like it. <laughs> of course I like it. Um, the thing that really disappoints me about um, the, the flutes in this game is that you have to, you can only collect ash in those, pa in those piles of ash. You can't collect it from the grass, which you used to be able to do. You just run through all of the grass, collect all the ash off the grass and then reset it. But now you have to just, it's more annoying. It's a lot more annoying. Right, so we have a coughing. What can you do to me? Poison me. Probably. So I'm gonna go into monkey. I'm gonna go into my monkey magic. Can't wait to get them the um to be able to have, uh, mega evolve this guy. Monkey magic needs to be mega evolved because um, the monkey is my metatype from the very first Let's Play I ever did was called Monkey, and I'm I put, well I'm not I'm not I'm not completely convinced this is why Butters sent me it. I think he just knows I like metatype Medicham. Um, no, I don't want to switch. Actually, that was a misclick. Sorry. Um, because he said he sent me one with an obvious nickname, but it's not a Shinx. So it's obviously he sent me something that I've had in a previous Let's Play. So I did think it was this, but I'm sure he said to me that this wasn't the one with the really obvious nickname. So I wonder what it is. Because I have had, I have had some, I have had some cool Pokemon in Let's Plays before, particularly like in Egglocks. Oh, and the Black Random Lock, but not the flipping Volt White Two Random Lock. Well, I did have cool Pokemon in that. That's Tina sent me a Torchic, which I called Hot Pocket, and that was for my Vault White 2 randomizer. But that was really bad, and it was, it was just really hard because it was randomized. It was like, it's just super hard. It was just super hard. So, um, we didn't, we didn't make it to the end of that game. Unfortunately, we just kept getting out. We just kept getting bodied by everybody. Um. But yeah, so I had to hot pocket the Torchic. It was it was from that randomizer because at the beginning I, I I got Scotty the Oshawott, um, and then I ran into a Torchic, which was really cool. Because um, who doesn't like Torchic and um, Oshawott? And I think they were the ones that like stuck around with me the most, the longest. <laughs> what else did I have in that? I had um, Django the coughing, I think. Because it because I caught it on May the fourth. See if you can catch that reference right there. Um, so I'm slightly concerned that you're going to use a, water, a fire type attack on me and I really don't want that, so we're just going to switch out. Can't remember, I had like Pokemon and they came and then they died the next episode. It was it was bad times. <laughs> it was bad times. <sighs> and obviously Cosmo, the oh my goodness, Magnitude 9. That reminds me of Mystery Dungeon. Great. Um... What else do I have? Oh, obviously Cosmo the Scra the Scrafty, the Scraggy slash Scrafty, was a massive, a massive. I was a massive fan of, of uh, the, him in the Egglock, the Y Egglock. That's why uh, Scraggy Scrafty have become one of my all-time favourite Pokemon because he was so good. He was jolly Moxie. He was jolly and Moxie, I think, and he was just brilliant in the uh, Ice type gym in um, Y. He just literally moxied his way through the entire thing. It was brilliant. 
Um, it re honestly really was. It was cool. Right, okay, so. Let's keep going. There's a youngster here. Let's fight you. Oh, gosh darn it. I forgot to look at the time when I started recording. Maybe another 15 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer. That's for my own benefit, not necessarily for yours. <sighs> Although you guys seem to not mind if episodes are somewhere in between 20 and 30 minutes. I wouldn't... I really would try not to go any longer than that. Or particularly shorter than that, because I don't think right. What do you have? You're steel type, so you, you're not going to... And we're not going to be able to do anything here. So we are just going to have to switch out, because... We don't got new, nothing for you, because there's, there's a potential of rock type moves and a potential of steel type moves, and uh, our wing attack is not going to hurt him too much. Oh, he goes for protect. Great. Can't go for protect this time, though. Please don't be one of those, what is it, Endeavor. Stupid. In is it Endeavor? I remember watching my friend Casey. She did a, I think she did a Wi Fi battle or something. Um, or came across somebody like a passerby who had that sturdy level one Aaron <laughs> who just like took a hit and then endeavor 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 is that the one is that the move that takes you down to whatever hit points the opponent has I feel like it and she was she was so mad with it I think it might have even been a doubles battle because it would like endeavor and then protect and the other guy would use a priority move and then that's it GG <laughs> Um, Spooky still needs leveling up. That's fine. Let's go and talk to the 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 so soot man. <laughs> Wahaha! Yes, I know it can be. Oh, there's. Oh no! Don't ever put the dowsy machine on Beck because you know you get obsessed with it. Yeah, it's true. But I mean, this is the best dowsy machine of the whole entire the, the whole entirety of Pokemon because it looks like Dealy Boppers. Which is why would you not have a dowsy machine that looks like Dealy Boppers? My only slight concern is, how do you know? Does it must make a noise? Does it, it must make a noise, like, not just for us, but... Okay. I know that our character is not real. But you can't see it flashing, can you, when it's on top of your head? Like, if I had them on top of my head, I wouldn't be able to see if they were flashing, so... I'm overthinking things. This is Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's grab the item from here. I have a hyper potion. I think there's what is there one more trainer to fight? Possibly. Ninja, this ninja. Thanks for finding me. Why? Because you were lost. Because he was because he'd been attacked by the ash monster. You're an incada. Okay, so bug ground. Does that mean <laughs> spooky sounds so scary when he comes out of his Pokeball? He really does. Um, does that mean that my attack is neutral? Does that mean Horn Leech is neutral? I hate dual typing, it confuses the crap out of me. Let's go for a Horn Leech anyway. You don't see them packing very many bug type moves, do you? Mud Slap, so that's fine. Take that. <laughs> Literally take that all day. It's lowering our accuracy, which is not great. Um, I don't know if the cut will do enough. I don't even know if we're going to hit it. No, no, we didn't. It doesn't affect me because I am a spooky tree. Because I am a spooky tree who, when I pop out of my Pokeball, I go. <laughs> I love it. I just love it so. Um, yeah, we are going to swap now though because we may as well. I don't know if this is dangerous because an X-Scissor might be a thing. Oh, and Ninjask is really super fast as well, isn't it? <laughs> he is now? Why are you going for an agility? I mean... Oh. I don't understand that because agility was not necessary in that situation because you clearly outsped me anyway, so. I 
quite like Ninja. Do you know what? I used to. I I really loved the, the idea of um, Ninja Ninkada and uh, the way it evolves. I thought that was really awesome when um, it evolves and you can get you get two Pokemon. The only problem is that Shed Shedinja Shed Ninja Shed Ninja is kind of a weird Pokemon to use, isn't it? I mean, Wonder Guard is a really cool ability because um, it means that you can only be hit by super effective moves, but um, the fact that it only has one hit point is kind of takes the shine away a little bit. Oh, we can talk to, is it Lynette? Which we'll do because she stood in the way of the Poke, the Pokey, Pokey PC, <laughs> the Pokey PC. Um, she stood right there. We are going to need to get in there in a minute. Oh, uh, we are going to need to get in there in a minute. So let's talk to her. Hi. Oh, hello. You are Beck. I'm Beck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do because I want to get to the PC. That's right. I will come by your PC so I can move organized boxes to the top of the list. Um. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go really quickly speak to Brandon so we can get the, um, Brendan. Um, so we can get the story, the story continuing and then we'll hatch some eggs because I need to grab my book as well. My book with all the boxes written in so I can check if anybody should have nicknames. Those shady characters called themselves Team Magma. They've kidnapped Professor Cosmo, who is a scraggy in disguise. No. Okay, so he's off to save the professor and we are just we're just gonna chill. We're gonna go hatch some eggs. Because that is what that is what we all wanna see right now. End of the episode, egg hatching time. It's gonna be awesome sauce. So first of all, let's go and see which box we're on. Organise boxes. So we have got Is it that one? No. That one. So we've got these three guys to swap out for eggs. Where are we up to? So let's go and grab Slugma. So we've got... Why is that empty? I don't understand why that one is... Oh, because it was a dupes. Okay. Three out of that one. Yeah, so we're on box number three. So if I just go and grab my book and the random num gem generator, I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so I am back, I have my list, I have my random number generator, and I have my box of Pokemon. So the first random number is number three from box three, which is that one. And that one was sent in by A.H. Scott. So Scott, this is one of your eggs. There's no nickname for this one though, so we're going to remember. And I'm going to just really quickly pop that at the top. So that's Scott's egg. And then we're going to head over to box four. Hello, box four. And we're going to randomly generate another number. Generate 15. 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. What was it? 15 or 16? 15. 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 15. Oh, this one is for, it's one of Jordan's eggs. Excellent, I think. 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's one of Jordan's eggs. Now, I know that Jordan had nicknames for his eggs. But for some reason, I have lost where I wrote it down. So, Jordan, I'm going to see if this is obvious. And if it's not obvious, I want you to tell me what the nickname should be. <laughs> um, because I don't know where I wrote them down. I feel like I took a screenshot of them, but then I've lost the screenshot. So I apologise for that. But anyway, box five. Let's randomly generate a number from box five. No, you won't connect to the internet. Right, okay. Come on, dude. Twenty-five. Okay, we've got one. Twenty-five. So that's six, twelve, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 8, 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. This one is by the Space Duck, Majestic Space Duck, but there's no nickname for this one. But it is a Majestic Space Duck egg, which is an awesome name, by the way. And this one I collected on stream. 
So we've got Scott, Jordan, Space Duck. Will they hatch in that order? That's the question. <laughs> but, come on, let's see. I should have done it one at a time because this is now going to mean that I might not necessarily know which one is Jordan's egg. Okay, it's a spoink. It's a spoink. I think we just call this bacon because why would we not call it bacon? Because it's a pig. Is that mean? <laughs> Should we call it chops? Chops. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's call it chops. I, don't, I know. I know, guys. I know. Um, watch my chops. Oh, I'm just going to do it with this. Okay, so that might be Scott's egg. Thank you very much, Scott. That's unusual. A spoink. That's cool. Um, I should maybe have checked. <laughs> and again, it, this one could be Jordan's egg. So I'm going to have to see if I can, if it's an obvious nickname. Obvious nicknames are obvious. Oh, is this Jordan's egg? Because if it is, it could be called Melody. Or oh, what's the other one? I mean, I guess we call it Melody, and then if it's wrong, if it's a boy, fine. Jordan, I'm sorry if this is your egg and it's not got the right name. Oh, there's two names it could have. I can't remember the other one. Um, and then I was kind of hoping it'd be a Cyndaquil or um, a Sneasel because I can remember definitely what to call those. It's a horsey. Well, that's cool. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call this Troy, after my friend the Trojan horsey. So that's definitely gonna be called Troy. Good. It's a male horsey. We're gonna call this guy Troy. Awesome sauce. Okay, so we have the three new Pokemon, which is cool. I'm happy with those. They're really nice. Um, a horsey could be really good. Let's have a real quick look. Yeah, so that one, that one was Jordan's egg. I was really hoping it'd be a Cyndaquil or um, a Sneasel because then I would know exactly what to call them. Um, so this is uh, Spoink, Thick Fat, Extra Sensory, Whirlwind, Endurance, Zen Headbutt. Nice. Nice and nice Pokeball too. Dr oh, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Rush, Hyper Voice and Roost. Mwah! This guy, this guy's amazing. I'm really a massive fan of, of that. So much so as I'd quite like to sneak it onto the team, but I don't know how. And we've got Troy with Dragon Rage and Bubble, which is also pretty cool. Is, is, that, in quick, is that in a fast quick ball? A quick ball, possibly? And it's got Sniper. That is pretty That is pretty awesome. Anyway, so guys, they're, they're the new Pokemon. I'm really happy with those. They're really, really cool. Um... Dude, I apologise to Jordan if um, that was not quite the nickname that he wanted. Uh, if you want to tell me what the nickname should have been, Jordan, if that was wrong, then I will go ahead and change that for you. I'm so sorry. I mean, oh, we've got such power in the boxes as well, man. We really have. But I have got plans of how to use these Pokemon um, if we don't switch up the team at all. I have got something that we could do after this Let's Play is over. Or maybe as a sideline, perhaps. But definitely after the Let's Play is, is over. So anyway, guys, we have come to the end of the episode. So if you have enjoyed it, then feel free to pop that like button for me. Drop me a comment below. Tell me what you think of the new egg hatching. Um, and kind of the team makeup um, in general. I mean, I feel like we're probably okay right now. I get... I'm kind of tempted to put the Silver Blue onto the party, but I mean, I guess that means it would be in place of Raven, and I'm not sure. So, but I will leave that kind of decision up to you because I, this, you're the guys that are watching, they're your eggs. So, I will take that. I will take all of your comments on board. So, anyway, guys, I will see you for the next episode of the Egglock really, really soon. Take care, my friends.